come on come on don't pull don't pull i'm so nervous about these tiny little trebles oh, what is it show yourself good morning y'all we are out on the yak today we're fishing the acfa in the summer tournament um it's just kind of a little fun event we'll maybe get a few fish we're out here hitting up some grass lines and fish some um marsh type areas and we're looking for you know, kind of whatever really you know all of your standard inshore slam species redfish bucket trail flounder the tide's up really high today so let's see how that goes we got a really good flow later in the morning so we got a few hours we're gonna get out here some fish and see what we make happen y'all stay with us We got a first fish of the morning. What we've got there, we've got a chunker of a white trout. Oh, there he goes. That was a pretty good one there, actually. And he unnecessarily tore up my bait. That's not too bad. We can get a couple more fish out of this thing. All right, so starting off this board, I'm throwing the Southern Salt Hoodwink. Um, this is kind of like a twitch bait grub type lure. It's got a really nice um twitching action in the water it looks like a kind of a stunned bait fish or a fleeing shrimp and what we're doing is um just popping the edges of these flooded grass lines the tide's up really high when it gets up like that um the fish will push up right along the bank because they can um, run the bait fish up there so we're just gonna work some of these flooded lines especially focusing on whenever there's a little point or um, a drain or something that can funnel current or that would congregate you know um, bait or make a good spot for um, bait fish to be ambushed so we're gonna hop along here this um, hoodwink is a favorite of mine um, because of that action it really just about anything out here if you work it slow will be picking up your um, redfish and flounder down on the bottom but the uh, darting action on this is also great once you get it off the edge of the grass a little bit you can kind of pick up the pace and the speckled trout absolutely love it. Saw back there I had a little white trout. We kind of slung them off the hook. But uh, we'll get on some more here in a minute. here we got a oh, good flounder good flounder oh, that's a good flounder I'm not sure we got a good hook set on him oh golly golly that's a strong flounder Ooh, he's running my drag out let's get this net here oh yeah real solid flounder there haha <laughs> man i bet that's my new pb that is an 18 inch plus flounder there guys look at this beautiful flounder Look at this fish. Oh, that was barely had him hooked too. Oh man, just thick. That is a slab there, guys. That's a slab. Heck yeah, I knew they'd be around here. Look at that, guys. That is a slab. There's gotta go at least 18 inches. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see. Man, she's closer to 20. I think that might be a... Dang, she's dang close to 20. I'm going to put her in my uh, edge of my net here. Keep her from going off in case she uh, slides off the grips for my pitcher. But heck yeah, that is a solid flounder. I got a flounder tournament next weekend. I need to uh, get about three like this. Take these grips off. Let's see. I don't think she's going to make corner 20. She's going to be 19 three quarters but that's probably upper threes and yeah, 19 and a quarter heck yeah that is my pb flounder for sure that's a good one
What we're out here for, guys, right there. Absolute slob of flounder. Definitely my PB. She's probably sitting around three and a half pounds. Real, real thick fish. I mean, she's just got some meat to her. You saw her contender. Um, you can see right there, she could just nail that hood wink. Got the hook in there pretty good, but that is uh, definitely, we're going to see if we can get a couple more solid fish like that. That is, that's awesome right there. All right, guys, so I just had a bait trolling out here, um, a little Rapala, and we just got creamed. Big, big fish in here. I don't know what the clue we've got. I don't have a clue what we've got, but he's fixing to spool me here. I'm trying to get this other one in. We'll try to chase him down. Big fish, I don't know what it is. It's got some serious power though. Trying to get from, keep from getting tangled up with this other rod. Oh, let's, let's see if we run this way. Try to keep that line tight. Get this other rod in. I mean, this is a mess here. I'm gonna stick it in the rod holder so that can stay tight. Crank this one in. All right, oh, let's see where we're at now. What's going on here? All right, stick that there. It's coming out towards the front here now. Let's reel this thing up. What a mess. It's a solid fish though. It doesn't feel like something, you know, like freaking giant, but it might be a big red or something. I don't know. He's pulling some drag. It's a little Rapala. The, okay, the other thing's just caught my rudder now. So he's out of the way. Let's see what we got here. Man, look at that run. It might be a jack. I'm gonna start chasing him. He's way up there. Could be a jack. Strong fish. I've only got, I think this is 12, maybe 14 pound mono on little bitty um, X trap hooks. Little bitty trap hooks. So we're gonna try to chase him so he doesn't spool me it's fast whatever it is ah, come on come on don't pull don't pull I'm so nervous about these tiny little trebles oh, what is it show yourself I'm not sure if it's like a 28 inch trout I'm gonna flip out all right let's see what we got here We got him getting close now. Come on. Let's see if he'll show himself. Is that a jack? Looks like it might be a big jack. Oh yeah, big jack Ravel. Look at that thing. He's huge. Oh my goodness. Even for a jack, it's a big one. Oh my gosh. It's gonna be tricky to get him in on this little bitty rod. All right, we're just gonna keep the pressure steady. Hopefully he can keep from breaking them off. He's going for another run. We're just gonna have to wear him out slowly. He might be here a while. That is a big freaking fish, guys. Oh, look at him out there. Let's see if we can stay tight. Slow and steady. That's the name of the game here. doesn't take a whole lot of pressure to straighten out these hooks so hopefully he's got a mouthful but if he's got it choked down inside of his mouth entirely he could be rubbing that line free so we're gonna just try to 
stay close to them. Hopefully I can uh, go next to the kayak, maybe get my hands on them early in the fight. Not how long I've been hooked up now, it's been a couple minutes. Hopefully he doesn't freak when he sees the kayak. Yeah, he does. Big fish, guys. This be the one. Come on, come on, come on. Just a little bit closer. Suck around this way and then do another circle. Don't run, don't run, don't run. Ah. Come on, just circle up by the boat. Let's get you in these circles. So close, so close, so close. Almost had him there, guys. Almost had him. Goodness, so much power. Golly. He's just teasing me back there. Going for another run. After all that, almost had him to the boat, and now he's just gunning for it again. I should chase him down. Mobile Bay Tuna. Man, it feels good to hook back up to a big fish though. It's been a little bit. Okay, we got him on the surface now. Keep him on the surf. Got him. Got him. Got him. I'm not letting go of him. Oh my gosh. Oh. Watch out for the shovel hooks. Oh, yes. Oh man, he about flipped my kayak, ripped my arm off. He's not even a big jack, guys. That's like a, I thought he was a 30. That's like a 22, 23 maybe. Oh my freaking gosh. Oh, my goodness, that fish is huge. Ow. Oh my gosh, guys, look at this freaking giant of a fish right here. Ugh. I barely lift them. Suckers, huge, absolute giant fish. Just not that big for a jack, but he's still a big one. We're gonna get him back here and see if we can get some of our better fish species. Send them off. I think that might be a good trail. Look there. I would not be surprised if that's a good trout. Solid fish, whatever it is. Oh, it's a gaff top. Dang. Shoot. He's fighting hard. It's not. Nasty sucker. I 
decide if I want to bring him in the boat or not. I don't think he's long enough to go 23. See if I just slip him. <clears throat> I thought I had a good trout there fishing that slick. All right, check him back. We still got that fish on there. Oh, there goes our trout. Man, I thought, I'm like, that felt weird. It felt like a thump. And then it was loose. He came straight at me. And then uh, we launched him. <laughs> I wouldn't have been a keeper. He was probably 14 inches. I think he got to be 15 to keep here in Alabama. But <laughs> I was wondering what that was about. I'm like, I know I had a fish there. I just expected something with more size when I set that hook and not just a and that little guy flying off into the sunset. There we go. Oh, what we've got here. Oh, another good flounder. Another good flounder. I did not get a good hook set on him, so I'm nervous as heck. Oh, come on this way. Come this way. Oh, another really good flounder. Man, look at that slob. Ha ha ha, man, that's an 18 incher at least. What the heck? Man, I've got a big flounder tournament next weekend. These are the ones I need. Dad gum. It's almost as big as the last one. Another solid, solid fish. And they just love that hoodwink. Look at that thing in his mouth like that. Man, look at that flounder, y'all. That is a slob. Oh crap, knocked my phone in. Shoot, 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 shoot. Oh, I got it. It's gonna be working fine. I'm gonna kind of let it dry off before I uh, try to use it. These suckers are violent. It's gonna be a little bit easier to get a picture of him now, standing out of the kayak. Let's see how long he goes. I don't, I don't think he's bigger than the last one, but maybe really tell for sure they're good let's see same 19 and a quarter what the heck another dang solid fish there all right well let's slide that fatty in the box another dang fine flounder there and uh hopefully my phone will be all right we'll get back out here and maybe catch another those are the ones i need next weekend I was hoping he'd be a tiny bit smaller and I'd let him go, but I think that might be an upgrade. Hold on. I don't know what we've got here. There's our trout. That's a keeper. He'll probably go 15. I knew there'd be a trout sitting around here somewhere. He's skinny, but that'll be a keeper fish. I'm hoping he'll just um, not rip up that hoodwink because that's the, my last white one. And that trout hit like a flounder. Like, what the heck are they doing today? I think he'll go 15. Let's just check real quick. Yeah, he's almost 16, 15 and a half. Yeah, 15 and three quarters. Skinny, but uh, there's us a trout. We'll uh, throw him in the box as well. First, we gotta figure out how to get the that bait out of there. All right. Keep your trout there. We'll be eating good tonight. <laughs> Well, that's gonna be a wrap. I think we'll call it a morning. Um, pretty, pretty solid morning. Couple of really good flounder, uh, you know, trout, jack. I hate that the reds didn't cooperate, but you know, they be like that sometimes. So, anyways, yeah, not not bad for a um, kind of a last minute thrown together trip like that. I think those flounder will probably place me um, top three for sure. My, my, my win, um, so I'll post my results there. But. Uh, 
anyways i hope you guys enjoyed that video as much as i did um making it and you maybe learned a thing or two fishing those grass lawns like this it's um you got to be patient and be willing to cover a lot of water to try to find out where those fish are spread out but once you find an area that they're congregated or just a stretch of bank that might be more productive or anything really it can be a great spot you might go through a lot of dead areas for some reason i don't know one way or one reason or another you pass through an area that looks just absolutely awesome there won't be anything happening there but you know just keep moving be persistent with it and usually you can get on some good fish uh, so yeah thanks for watching i really appreciate you guys helping me out hitting those um like subscribe follow whatever platform you're on and uh you know, check out some of the other stuff appreciate it guys see you next time